नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू डे एट ऑफ थर्टी डेज ऑफ अपराइट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड फर्स्ट वीक एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अकाउंट्स एंड यूजर्स सर्विस लेट अस क्विकली रिकैप व्हाट वी डिड इन वीक वन वी स्टार्टेड वीक वन बाय इंट्रोड्यूसिंग थर्टी डेज ऑफ अपराइट प्रोग्राम एंड हाउ यू कैन विन कूल स्वैक्स एंड प्राइजेस बाय पार्टिसिपेटिंग एंड बिल्डिंग समथिंग ऑसम विद अपराइट on day 2 we covered how we can install app right on any machine that supports docker on day 3 we looked under the hood of app right into different microservices of app right and what what each of them perform day 4 we looked at the app rights inbuilt console with dashboard where we can manage our projects users teams and many other things day 5 we made we learned how we can make our first request using any of the app rights sdks day 6 we learned all about what ssl certificates are and how app right handles them and day 7 we looked at the server side sdks so let us continue and learn about users and accounts api and what are their differences what each of them are supposed to do looking at those two accounts versus users service so account service runs on client side whereas users service runs on server side or admin scope and accounts api authenticates user by using secure cookie or json web token which is coming in the next version of app right whereas users api operates with api key and admin scope so accounts api works with currently logged in users scope and has access to only the resources the currently logged in user can access whereas users service works on admin scope and provided the correct api key with uh, correct permissions for users management users service can manage the users of your project without any restrictions now account service provides methods for authenticating users authorizing them logging them in or logging them out signing them up so these are the different services provided by the accounts api or account service different methods available are create create session create or to session delete session get account etc and it's available in flutter sdk web sdk or client side sdks of appright okay let's look at create session this is a code example from flutter where i have a login function and in login function i am calling account dot create session and passing in valid email id and password will create the session for the user and the response will have a set cookie header with the users authenticated cookie that will be sent in the following request to authorize the user next we have a create method that is supposed to create a new account that is we can use this create method to sign up a new user in our application and it is also available in the accounts api in client side we can call create with name email password where name is optional then we have delete session delete session is supposed to delete any session created by user invalidating the cookie so that user will not be able to make any further validated request so this we can use to log the user out of application and passing the session id as current will clear the current session active in the device if session id is passed it will delete the corresponding session not only this there are other methods in account service that you can deep dive into by going into the app rights official docs now talking about user api or user service it's usually used by admin or server side sdk for 
user management of the whole project and it uses API key in order to validate the request against AppRite server and it's available in Dart, AppRite SDK or Node SDK or any other server side SDKs of AppRite. Similarly, it has a create function that works in similar fashion with the create function that is available in the accounts SDK. However, this is different because it uses API key to validate the request. Also, in server side, we don't have anything like create session. So this also creates the new user and any user from client side or client application can log in using the email and password provided here. Next, the server side SDK or users service can also list all the users in the application. So here I'm calling users.list. This method will list all the users available in the project. Delete. So we can delete any user by user ID using the users service. And not only this, there are many other functions available in the users API. You can learn about all of them going to the official documentation. So here are some handy links. You can go to 30 days of appright.io or you can go to official docs or you can even go to appright's github and join our discord for getting help if you are stuck anywhere. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. From the next episode, we'll be start building our project I hope you are having fun till now and we'll have even more fun once we begin working on our project. Thank you. See you again in the next episode.